Hi everyone, we are going to do the midstream urine specimen and uh, urine analysis. Um, so we will be going through how to do that, uh, the complete procedure. Okay, just watch me. So you will be getting a document. So there will be a documentation as well. So make sure um, you will be complete the document also before your procedure complete. So it's all together, it will be a eight minutes procedure. So they will say that, or the ID check has been completed, you can start from the explaining the procedure. Then accordingly, you need to start, okay? So if they are saying that the ID check has been completed, so you just need to think that which are the, um, you know, been completed, okay? So if they are saying only the ID check have completed, then you just need to start from the, uh, you know, rest of the ones. Um, so I'm here um, starting from the explaining the procedure. Is that all right? Okay. So, uh, as we said, scene safety, um, hand gel, first hand gel, ID check, allergy check, and pain check completed. So, I'm just going to start the explaining the procedure, okay? Okay, Joe, as I said, I'm Bindu Matthew, the, uh, the nurse looking after you today. As I um, already told you, I'm here to do you a, a urine analysis. So, um, I will give you the sample bottle. I'm keeping the sample bottle on your uh, table. I will explain you how to take the urine sample, okay? So you can go to the washroom and apart the labia and clean the meatus with the soap and water. Then void the first urine and you collect the second urine. That's called midstream urine, okay? Then you can void the rest of the urine. Is that clear? Are you clear with that one? So have you got any doubt? Okay, that's fine. So will you be able to get the sample while I um, arrange the article? Okay, that's fine. Thank you. So um, I will keep it. So the same kind of urine bottle you can uh, keep there. Okay. So once you complete um, arrange the article, the examiner will say that the urine sample is there. So instead of that one, they will be keeping a urine sample over there. Okay. So assume I'm going to arrange the article and patient is going to get the urine sample. So I'm going to arrange the article, get the hands, as you usually say, uh, do the hand gel correctly with the full complete procedure, wait for the hand to dry. So wear your apron. So always when you keep uh, when you're doing your uh, hand gel if you keep a little bit wet on your hands it will be easier for to um, open your apron okay so you can um, examiner uh, can you um, confirm is the trace clean from um, over 24 hours with soap and water okay the examiner confirmed so I will keep two pair of glove there and I need the equipment, so I need a four watch. I'll keep one tissue, um, and I need the um, urine stick. So I need to check the expiry. So it's expires 2027 uh, February. So I'll just double check on the um, this one as well. Yeah, it's 2024 um, February. So I will take that one. So all my equipments are here. So I can just go and um, arrange the article on the patient side. So I'm just focusing you. So I'm just um, um, arranging everything here, here. Okay. Okay, Joe. I'm back with all you the equipments. Um, is uh, have you managed to take the urine? Oh, it's on the table. That's fine. I found that one. So I'm just going, I'm here only. I'm just going to do the um, uh, urine analysis. Is that all right? Okay, that's fine. So tell my hands again. So I keep my four watch down there. Okay. And I'll just get my glove 
So always make sure arrange the tissue there so that it will be easier to um, any extra um, urine that will be um, absorbed. So make sure before touching the urine sample, make this one open so that it will be able to take out um, uh, quickly. Now you can arrange the urine sample in there. So now you can open the urine sample properly. Now take with one the without touching the urine sample bottle. Transfer that urine stick without touching inside. Close the bottle correctly if possible with one hand. Okay. So now you need to dip the urine some uh, till um, the indicator and check your timer so dip it completely if need to possible need to arrange that a little bit tilt extract extra urines then make sure you just keep that on the uh, tissue now i'm ch uh, checking the timer So now you can take your bottle and take the urine stick as well uh, in a diagonal, uh, you know, just uh, near to the bottle. So now 30 seconds. So blood sugar is 4 plus. Now 40 seconds. Ketone is negative. Now 45 seconds. Specific gravity is 1.0. Now we'll wait for another 60 seconds. So 60 seconds over. Um, there is no blood. And the pH is 5.0. There is no protein. And nitrate is negative. Now I need to wait for another 60 seconds. And I can see the leukocyte also negative. So I am just going to discard them in the waste bin. And get my hands. Now I need to document so make sure um, all the details are uh, filled so start from the glucose Glu glucose is 4 plus and ketone is negative so specific gravity is 1.0 Blood is negative, pH is 5.0, protein is negative, and nitrate is negative, and leukocyte is negative. So I completed my document, gel my hands again. I check all my document is completed uh, with all the credentials and everything. Uh, including my candidate name okay Joe I have done your um, urine analysis I can see that uh, your um, uh, glucose level is a bit higher it's a 4 plus are you diabetic okay that's fine uh, you know rest everything is quite normal and uh, we will be sent your sample to the lab as well for a further investigation then once that comes out we will discuss with uh, your um, uh, doctor then we will have a uh, conclusion and uh, um, one of our doctor will be come and discuss with you. Is that all right? Have you got any questions? Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Joe. I have completed everything. So I'm just going to dismantle all my articles and I'm going to wash my hands. Is that all right? Okay, so I'm just dismantling all the articles and I'm going to gel my hands. Thank you, everyone.